everyone. So this is the second part of the Hang Tight with Marcy official warm up. These are variations for those that are just starting off with us so that you can make sure that you loosen up your body, make sure that you release the oxygen in the blood to get it flowing in your body. So push yourself as hard as you can to warm up so that you can really push yourself in the workouts. So I have an extensive list here of all the workouts so that I won't miss any. And then all the descriptions will be on the website so that you'll fully understand and know how to do each of these exercises. So in starting off, you can choose to walk or run, maybe half a mile, maybe two laps around a track, on the treadmill, whatever you choose, just to get your body warmed up. That's what I like to do. I like to run maybe half a mile or 10 minutes to get my legs warmed up, get a little sweat, and then I dive into the warm up. But that's just optional. Okay, so the first one is high knees. So high knees, usually you're going to be jumping high knees. If you cannot quite do that, I want you to just lift your legs to high knees, okay? So just try these high knees and you're going to feel it opening up your legs, warming up your legs. The second exercise are glute kicks. So glute kicks usually look like this. You're hitting your heel to your glute. If you can't do that, I want you to just do the kicks without the jump. Okay? Really going to be feeling it in your hamstrings. All right? All right, right leg swings. Okay? I have this pole right here. Make sure that you're holding on something, staircase, railing, bar of some sort, so that you won't embarrass yourself, as I say. So hold on to something. Um, Leg kicks are really good for opening up your hip. So you're going to be fully extending forward, fully extending back, and then you can speed it up. Now, if you can't quite do the forward and back, you can tap, tap. You can just swing small swings or don't do it at all. Just make sure that whatever you're doing at all times that it feels comfortable for you. Just because I'm doing it does not mean you have to do it because I don't want you to hurt yourself. Same thing with right and right. That was forward and back. Now we're going to do right and left. This is how they usually look. Forward and left. If you can't do it, I want you to do touches. Touch. Again, this will help open up your groin, your hip, and your legs. All right? Those are leg swings. The next exercise are wrist circles. So taking it back to PE days, wrist circles. Arms out, forward circles, backward circles, and then if you can, we're going to do full circles backwards like we're swimming. So again, full extension, and then like we're swimming forward, arm circles forward. So you're going to be doing those circles with both of your arms. The next exercise are shoulder stretch. So when you're doing your shoulder stretch, make sure that your feet are slightly apart, hands out, thumbs up, and just try and lean to one side, thumbs up, thumbs down in the back, and you're going to feel your shoulder. Now if you can't feel, if you feel like you can't lean all the way, just lean again, just lean a little bit, you'll feel it. You're going to feel it in, in your side as well. So then alternate back, thumb back, thumb down, thumb up, lean, and you'll feel it, okay? Those are shoulder stretch. Jumping jacks. Jumping jacks, of course, jumping. If you can't do the jump, I want you to bend your knees and bend your legs and do the arm motion. So, jumping jacks, still going to warm up your legs and warming up your arms. Scissor jumps. Scissor jumps look like this ordinarily. You're going to be jumping like scissors. If you can't do that, variation, this. Do it with one leg forward first, then switch from the side. Leg slightly bent and move your arms like scissors back and forth. Okay? Those are scissor jumps without the jump. Seal jacks. We're going to be crossing your arms over one another. If you can't cross over, just clap and then add some bending in your legs. All right, 
The next exercise, full body twist. So doing full body twist, hold your hands up in a fist and kind of twist to the side and bend your back leg. If you can't twist all the way, just twist to the front like this. Feet stay planted, bend a little on the leg and twist. All right? Full body circles. You're going to be, this is matrix time. You're going to be twisting all the way around, feeling your back. You're really going to open up your core. If you can't quite do that, I want you to just do forward swings. You're going to feel it in your legs and you're going to feel it in your back. If you can go up, just try a little bit. You don't have to go all the way back and back down. So up, around, and back down. So those are the variations for the full body circle if you don't feel that you can do the full matrix and lean all the way around. Okay? All right, prisoner squats. Prisoner squats, hands behind your head, feet slightly apart under your shoulders, and do a small squat and squeeze your glutes. So from the side, prisoner squat, just squat a little bit and squeeze your glutes, okay? As long as you're bending your legs, you're warming them up for our workouts. All right, no weight good mornings. Put your hands on your hips, feet slightly apart, and you're gonna bend over and you're gonna feel it in your hamstring. So you're gonna bend over and come up. So from this side, a good hamstring stretch, bending over a little bit, knees slightly bent, and coming up. All right. Thumbs up deadlifts are a really good balancing pose. If you can't balance, I want you to put one leg in front of the other, lean forward with your thumbs up because you're still feeling it your hamstring actually in both legs. So it's a really good stretch with your thumbs up. So from the front, one leg forward, both your thumbs up out to the side, and lean forward and thumbs up. By putting your thumbs up, you're also gonna feel it in your shoulders and in your back, okay? Overhead lunge. When doing a lunge, try and lunge halfway if you, if you can. Try and extend your arms up. Do a little twist. Because the real variation, you're all the way down. You're leaning all the way over. Okay, so the variation for that is bend a little bit, hands up, and tilt a little bit. So from the side, you're bending your knees a little bit. You're going to put your hands up, and you're going to twist. To the side. So the side, the leg that's forward, that's the side that you're twisting on, okay? Try those. Those are really good. Lunges are really good. Just total leg uh, warm-up. Really, really good exercise. All right, next are squat jumps. If you can't quite do a full squat jump where you're down, hitting the floor, coming up, Leave out the jump. You're still going to squat a little bit. Lift your hands up. Squat up. Squeeze your glutes on the way up. So you're going to squat a little bit. Hands back. And then squat up. Hands up. All right. So those are the variations for a squat jump. Frog jumps. Um, I think I'm going to leave that one out. There's not too much of a variation for a frog jump. Frog jump in real time. You're in the push-up position. You're jumping forward to feel your lower back stretch. So I'll just kind of leave that one out. You'll still get a really good warm-up. Leg raises. So get down on the mat. So I can show you the leg raises. So when doing leg raises, Lay on a mat or the floor. 
You're going to put your hands face down, bend one leg, and lift your leg up. Now, if you cannot lift your leg all the way up, I want you to lift it up halfway for at least knee to knee. Okay? So this is a good stretch. I'm going to switch feet and do the same thing. And this is actually a good strengthener for your legs as well. Okay, doing an iron cross, you can continue laying down on your mat. You can put your knees up 90 degrees, hands out like a cross on the floor, and bend. Just try and bend. When your legs go down, your head turns the other way. If you can't do that, I want you to just maybe tilt a little bit. Tilt back and forth. You can rock the cradle. You can hold your knees and do small rocks to the left and to the right to strengthen and massage your spine and your back. So it feels really, really good. Okay, next exercise are striders. So when doing striders, full striders, you're in the full lunge position with both hands down. That's a strider. I'll show you from this angle. Full strider, okay? If you cannot do a full strider, I want your knee not over your toe. You know the rule. Have your body straight. If you can touch the ground, touch the ground and hold it. Because you're going to feel it right here in your hamstring. So try and hold that stretch for a little bit. Come up, switch your legs, come back down, and you're going to feel it all the way in your hamstrings, your glutes, your quads, you name it, you're going to feel it. So a variation for that, when you're going down, if you can add a little bit more, go down, try lifting a hand up if you can. Lift up, look at your hands, check your nails out if you got them done, <laughs> and come back down. So again, switching, and you can do, you can lift up both hands, so you can lift up the one that's furthest out and look up, or you can look at the one closest in and look up that way. By doing that, you're opening up your upper body and you're gonna feel it in your shoulders opening up, all right? So that was the official Hang Tight with Marcy warm-up with the variations. I hope you find it helpful and that you make sure that you really do do these warm-ups before the workout so that you'll prevent injuries, okay? So I'll talk to you later and good luck warming up. Bye.